Hey, what's going on? Robert here from robertsproductions.net coming at you with another Sony Vegas Pro 12 tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at creating this effect. So as you can see, it's kind of a jittery effect and it's actually inspired from this music video right here. If you click on the screen on this annotation, it'll show you the music video that this effect happens throughout. So I kind of have an idea of maybe taking a few music videos commercials, TV shows, etc., and extracting some of those effects and taking a look at how to reproduce those in Sony Vegas Pro 12. So if we kind of dissect this a little bit and we take a look at the first track down here, we can click play and we'll see that this clip is in slow motion and it's nice and smooth. So it's just a clip in black and white, slow motion, smooth. Now if we go ahead and solo the top video track, you'll see that this track has a low frame rate. It's pretty choppy. It's still slow, but it's just choppy and the opacity is down a bit. That's basically how you do the whole effect. You can see how to do it right in here if you know your way around Sony Vegas. And we'll also take a look at making only certain parts of the video in color as I showed in a previous tutorial, but I'll go ahead and revisit that here in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and create a new empty project. And I want this project to be in 720, but we'll go ahead and take a look at that when we import the video. Right now I have looping on, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off, loop playback, turn that off. And I'm gonna bring in the folder with the video file and just click and drag that right into my project media window. That's the clip I want. And with this in here, I'm just gonna right click with my mouse and drag it down. Since I don't want the audio, I only want video across Time. Now it's going to ask if I want to match the project video settings and sure, but I'm going to go ahead and change those. So I'm going to go here to the properties of this project and I actually want this to be in 72030p, so HDV 720. Click apply and okay. So that works perfect. Now this video was shot in 30 frames per second and it's more efficient if you record in 60 frames per second and slow that down. It just tends to look better. So let's go ahead and extract the portion of this video that I want. I want a lot of leg movement in here. So let's see. Oh, yeah, this one right here. And then just trim it down a bit at the end. Let's preview that. Okay. Maybe we can start it a little sooner. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to just zoom in here with the scroll wheel on my mouse. And what I want to do to this clip is slow it down by dragging it forward. So if I move my mouse to the end of the clip here, I have the event trim. And if I hold down control, that'll switch to the time stretch. And I can just click and drag this out probably around five seconds or so. And you'll see that squiggly line there indicates that the clip is stretched out and slowed down. So if we preview this, let's see if the speed's okay. I think that might work. I'll stretch it out just a bit more. All right. So now with that done, we want to only extract the yellow color of the ball from the entire video track. So to do this, I'm just gonna quickly go into the event effects and I'm gonna add the Sony Color Corrector Secondary. Just double click on that and that'll be added to that clip. Click OK. And I want to ignore the parameters completely. Hello? Ba bad time, bad time. D yeah, you're wasting hard drive space. Oh, you wanna? Okay, okay, you can learn. You can learn how to do this too. And to stop this from parking itself, just hold down control. And I'm gonna completely ignore the parameters and just go into custom. And here I want to click this little eyedropper with the plus icon to choose the adjustment color. So I want this yellow of the ball, so I'm just gonna click on that. And now look at that, we're wearing those yellow tinted sunglasses now, it's pretty neat. But let's go ahead and adjust this a bit. What I wanna do is bring the saturation down so it's all in black and white. This is going to get confusing because we're going to invert the mask and it's going to go back into color. So let's go over here, leave the high up in the limit saturation and bring the low up.
And it's okay if we leave a little bit of that red over there. So now what we want to do is take away the red. So we're going to come down here to the limit hue and adjust the width a bit. Bring that down just to get rid of the red. And it looks like right around there we will do it. We can close out of the event effects and preview this. And that'll work. So now that we have that done, you can see there's a little bit of red there actually. I'm just go in there and bring the width down just a bit more. And that's gone. We're going to duplicate this entire video track. So all we have to do is right click the track header and click duplicate track. So we have an exact replica of the bottom track. But this top track, we want to lower the frame rate. So we can do that by right clicking the track with it being the only one selected. Right click the track, click properties. And here we have the under sample rate. Right now you can see it's at around 30 frames per second. But we want to bring this down to around, let's say, 9 or 10 frames per second. So I'm just going to click in between these two arrows and drag down. And you can see the frames per second going down as well. Let's try around 9. 9.111 FPS. So click OK and let's just preview this. And that looks like it'll work. You can have it a little choppier if you'd like. So now all that's left to do is to bring down the opacity for this top clip. We can either bring down the opacity for the entire track or just this clip. In Sony Vegas Pro 12 they introduced this little blue highlight to kind of show you that there's something here and what this is going to do is bring down the opacity for the clip. If we bring this to around 50% and hit preview, you'll see that's pretty close to the same effect in the video. But what I like to do is kind of offset it a bit. So I'm just going to kind of click and drag this clip forward a little bit and just trim that up. Preview that again. And there's the effect that we're looking for. So there you have it. If you have any videos you'd like to see how to do in Vegas Pro 12, go ahead and leave those in the comments below, along with maybe a time code showing me the exact effect you're looking for. So hopefully this helped. If you use this in any one of your future videos, feel free to share that with us, Rob's Productions on Twitter or Facebook. All the links are in the description below. So there you have it. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you all in the next one.